Welcome back guys to Lord Coucha Live. I'm Lord Coucha and today, like every day before, back into the woods of Darkwood. So I hope you're all doing well today. Picking up where I left off yesterday. I think we're looking good for the most part. Maybe a little loud. There we go. Okay, ready to rock, ready to roll, let's go. Yep, and I get respawned in the shit. Because the devs thought ahead about that one. So I think... Where I left off last night, I was pretty much good to go. Let me just resupply real quick. Probably need to make bear traps. Actually, I might have to rebuild some boards and stuff. Or barricades. So, let me just get through that real quick. Did I die? I died down there. Oh yeah, I think that's how my night ended. I never made it to the hole. Okay. Not too big an issue. Let's see. Definitely want those. Let's see, do I have any junk I could sell them? I'll sell them the logs. I really don't need that many logs. The same goes for these rags. Uh, now I'll hold the rags. Ordinary stone. Does anything need stone? I think there's like one thing. And I might have already done it. Oh, uh, maybe for certain upgrades. Yeah, for sharpening, I need stones. Oh, shovel can have four upgrades? That's new. Maybe because I upgraded the workshop to max. Oh shit. This is a game changer. I never knew I could upgrade my stuff even more. That would turn the axe into an absolute killer. Well, it's already inflicting max damage. All it would do is uh, use less stamina and have greater durability long term. Which is nice, but... Not absolutely needed. Either way, I'm, I need long poles. I don't know what they're called. Okay. Same goes for that. Yeah. Having a shovel with greater durability would be great. But I need a bunch of those poles. So. I'll sell you... making a shotgun too. I need two more of those weapon parts. And I'll sell the welder. There we go. Almost got back what I spent today. Um, let's build a few bear traps, just in case. Yeah, I don't have any already on me. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, yeah, I'm set up in here. Um, then maybe I don't need the bear traps, which is good. That means I've got extras, but I'll still set them up just to fuck with people. And by people, I mean my enemies, the monsters of the night. Maybe I'll leave this here to put outside the window for later. Oh. Let me just make sure Music Man's alright. The, blo the boy leans over the violin, uh, lying next to his overgrown left hand. He plucks one of the strings with his right hand, clumsily trying to keep the rhythm. I'm sorry for asking, but do you maybe have something to eat? The boy stops strumming. He carefully sets the violin down between his knees, knees and holds the neck in his hand. I'm a wee bit hungry. If you had something, anything? Hmm... Can I give him food? There's no trade function. I'm gonna say he's alright. Um, already damaged. It's not good. But I should be alright. So my stuff was what? Like right here? Yep, I was so close. Did I lose my rifle? I know I had a rifle. Where'd that go? Oh, it's top slot, that's why. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm gonna run right back home. Since it's close. Don't mind the tapping in the background. It's incredibly windy today outside, and um, it's causing something to rattle on the side of my house. So now, in addition to catching weird sounds I have to pay attention to in-game, I'm also catching weird sounds in real life. I'm living in the dark wood. Yeah, I could sell those later. They're good weapons, but I haven't even upgraded them or anything. Get rid of those rags. Okay. I only have one lantern. Time to make more. So pop one there, pop one there. What would I put? Let me do that there. That's all the ammo I have. Surely there's a way to use the banana clip, but okay, I've got two bullets. Alright, I've got decent ammo. Let's go. Burning time. It's been 19 minutes, oh, an hour 19 minutes since the day started, so. Always starts at 8 o'clock. Begins and ends at 8 a.m. So, I checked out the quarry. Um, just some stray villagers there, debating on just shutting it off from the rest of the world. Swamp Cottage. Um, okay, yeah, that was the elephants. 
Then something about her son, she gave me a key to... Oh, maybe it was that house? Maybe I'll do that real quick. Before I totally forget about that side quest. Because uh, this game has no sort of logbook or list, like menu list of side quests or things to do. You were just given the items and sent out. Whatever you remember to do is on you. So I'm going to check out that house real quick. Alright, I've done this one. I know for sure there was a house I could not get into. Maybe it was one of these? I think I checked those two out yesterday, but can't hurt. There will be no big obvious dot on the map that says, go here. This is a ruin. Yeah, I've been here. Just making sure there are no interior rooms I could not access. Okay. Oh, there's a generator? Was. Definitely in here. This was a banshee room? Yep. Oh, I didn't even search the banshee, did I? Oh, nothing. I wonder if this was the kid I was supposed to find or something. Because he said mom. And his mom was, or a mom, was looking for a son. I just hope that wasn't it. Otherwise, A, I somehow fucked up, and B, it means now I'm pursuing a wild goose chase that will produce no answer for me. Well, that one took his time. I should, I should have been hit two or three times there. I mean, I'll take it. Hmm. Okay, so where is that shed or cottage, whatever? That's right, I dug up this body. This is that. Hmm, the flowers. I think I'm on the right path. Yes, this was the door. What was it? 
Don't I use a key? Huh. Well, I thought that was it. Maybe not. Request to fix the generator. I stumbled upon a cottage in the swamp. It's firmly barricaded from all sides. A woman who lives there told me that she'll let me in if I fix her generator. A family of ox in, in oxygen masks. I met a family living inside the barricaded cottage in the swamp. A woman and two kids. Their faces are hidden behind gas masks. The woman claims the air outside the woods is poisoned. They rely on oxygen tanks for breathing. Or they rely on the oxygen tank for breathing. The lost son. The woman in the gas mask, probably the mother, asked me to find her son. She went to. He went to see the granny about the granny about the mushrooms. The woman has given me the key to her son's room. Perhaps I'll be able to find something that will help me locate the kid. Explosion. Something happened in the local junkyard in the western part of the swamp. That was Piotrix's rocket ship. All right, so maybe I have to check out Granny Mushroom Granny's house to find the lost son. Maybe. Nothing's ever definite. <clears throat> 1983. Let's try that. Oh. This is the quarry. Return to the south edge of the swamp. Who's, who was that for? Clearly not for me. So was it 1985? 1983. While I'm here, I'm pretty sure I must have tried these by now. be anything okay well mushroom granny's way out there I'll do that later I'm really far away This is the elephant, ha the swamp cottage. I just want to check out the rest of this southern portion. Shiny stone? Is that supposed to be a shiny stone or some sort of light source? I kind of have a feeling it's a shiny stone that randomly generated in the map on top of a tree root, which I can't get on top of. And usually I'd be able to grab from a decent distance away, but it's not letting me, which almost leads me to believe it's not a shiny stone, but if it's not, what would it be? I don't know. So, I can't climb up. Uh, I will try one swing of the axe. No. Okay. Don't really need it, even if it was a shiny stone, but would be nice to have. I'm a 
must be around here. And your mush mushrooms or poison floor. Or root. That's not a bear trap. Okay. Okay. Dead horse. Bear trap. Scrap metals. Nice. Now I'm just kind of scouring around, doing a perimeter search, making sure nothing interesting pops up. destroyed house. Maybe one of these are locked. Uh, no, I've totally been here. Yeah, I've very much been here. Uh, still gonna keep pushing out to that little corner. All my building supplies I can buy for cheap at the at the traders. Okay. Got to be choosy here. Now I really should run back to the hideout to drop all my gear, but it's already almost 4.30 in game. Um, probably just going to kind of wait out the night for now. And by that mean, by that I was trying to say, uh, keep exploring until night falls. Then just go back. For real? Hit me through a tree. Automatic damage. Alright. Well, I lost most of the supplies that I was planning on selling. Let's get our shit back.
Oh. The tree spawned like in the middle of that root. So luckily I don't think it can hit uh get me, but I'm also not particularly willing to push the limit. Hey, my friends. Got an hour to get back home. Can I find my supplies real quick? Probably not. Good enough for me. Let's get back home. I'll pick up my supplies tomorrow. I'm not worried about that. Mushroom man? It's not going to reach me. Probably don't have long before the floor gore comes for me. Maybe just seconds. What's this house? I have to check that out tomorrow. Oh, looks like I was in. Banshee right off the bat. Not what I clicked. Oh, for fuck's sakes. That's all I wanted. the bug.
Now this one's just a, a quirk with my mouse. Every time I try to click down on it, it's rolling up into a different weapon, which is absolutely not what I wanted. Alright, you all can fuck off. Destroying my window for nothing. Banshee babies are worthless anyway. Got through the night. Alright. Make sales, make repairs. supplies can go back didn't I have a shovel uh, maybe that's in my backpack that I left I was about to get real mad all right so How much wire? I have eight wire. Uh, I'll make one lock pick. Spare lantern. Okay, and I'll sell these pitchforks. If I need, I can buy, bo uh, well, I can make boards. So if I need nails, um, I have five boards. Twenty-nine nails. I'm gonna need a lot more than all that. I'm gonna make a couple bear traps. Alright, let's see what that does for us. So that's all barricaded and trapped. This one I'll repair.
see if I can get one more bear trap on the docket. What is this? Oh, bear trap. the window. I could set them up before I'm ready to hold down the night. I was worried you wouldn't could come back. Where's my dead rats you used to give me? Poor guy. Hey, at least he's alive. Everyone else is dead. Very dead. Alright, so I guess I had enough boards and nails after all. That's good. Okay. Alright, let's head off. First this house, then that house, then that house, then my gear. And that will cover all but this section. And we're off. Maybe that was the mushroom man who was chasing me the other day. There's another. Fuck! God damn it, really? Fucking tree? Oh, there goes my runner for the day. Horseshit. Well, that doesn't work. That's kind of lame. Where's that goddamn house? For fuck's sakes. Oh, there's like literally nothing to it. Great. Okay, down to there.
Okay. I got my answers. Even got to kill a couple of human spiders along the way. What a thrill. trade all my useless meat for a bunch of useful items. Alright, my stuff back. Good call on the lockpick. My chevelle. Uh, uh oh, might be overstocked. I don't think I need a tube mag, but I could always use bullets, so that's how that's going to play out. Okay, and there was a crate. I'll take the pills, the rest I can't really hold. Okay, so now I've pretty much searched everything but this tapas section, and I don't think I've looked at the village too hard. And I haven't found the chopper wreckage. Still waiting on that. In the meantime, I could check out these ruins and Mushroom Glade, where Mushroom Granny's at. For now, I think I'll go to the hideout, drop my loot. Then maybe I'll go into the village first, only because it's close and because I haven't really searched it out as well as I thought I would have by now. I assume that's a piece of Mushroom Man somewhere. Waste the dog, rip its meat out. Got me. Son of a bitch, this is not good. Fuck, really? Blatant miss. Still need weapon parts. I know they're around somewhere. I really want the pump action. So, what can I part with? Pretty sure both those banana clips can go.
All right. That's that's looking right. Two thirty. Hard east. Hard east. Okay, I was just here. Just making sure. Okay, I remember that. Alright, I'm gonna keep... I know I just said I was gonna check out the village. Eh, you know what, let's stick to it. I don't want to go too far away. Map. The ruins of an old cottage has been marked on the map. It contains a caption, Holes! Worth checking out. Damn. That would have been useful. Holes. Holes! Exclamation. I found a map with the word holes on it. It may be worth checking out. Don't you worry. I already did that. Pardon me for a sec. I'm gonna take a, like a two second, one minute break, and I'll be right back. We back. Sorry about that. But okay. Kinda wish I had checked out the village at the beginning, like I probably should have. Bread. Cool. I I heard I've heard him. I wonder if Piotrek's still hung hungry. I'm 
sure. Every day, I hear him more clearly. You don't believe me? Flashlight, gas, bunch of cool things. Booze, boards I don't need, shiny stone is nice. If I can't hold on to it, ultimately I won't be too upset. Of course it's a dead person. Okay. Whoops. Wasn't even paying attention. This is a village for sure, but I don't know if there's anyone living in it. Correction, there is a dog. Correction, there was a dog living here. Oh, you know what? Ooh, don't step on that. I did find gasoline. I could power up that generator. Um... I'll use you. Do I not have my watch on me? Oh. That's why I was wondering. Uh, gas was in here. What did I just pick up? Mushroom. Gas. Gas, gas, gas! Let's move. Um. Hey, music man, I have some bread. I, I'm i glad that you're back. Show item, bread. Maybe I should give it to the boy? He must be hungry. Oh, 
Maybe I should maybe I should give it to the boy. He must be hungry. Yeah, give it to him. Oh, thank you, my mister. You're so kind. But I don't have anything. Nothing I can give you. The boy, le the boy leans over his left side and reaches for something with his right hand. I hear a sound of a torn fabric. He passes me a piece of rope, which was part of his tattered clothing. It's, it's kind of rope. It's a kind of rope. You can do a lot of things with rope. You can do a knot, tie it, or hang your laundry on it. Well, I'm glad he's uh, happy. Yeah, I'll even keep you safe at night. Which is like now, so. Uh, drop that. Okay, we're looking good. Where's my axe? Throw that there. Let's douse the lights. Taking off armor because no real need to have it right now. Heck, I'll keep a knife out. Stopped. Okay, two hours, that's all they've got left. That was a pretty free night. Just 
use one shotgun shell, no bear traps used. Stop breaking my windows. And I'll go invisible. Excellent. too much ammo. Whoops. I don't need another fabric. I'll sell that. Those back. Pick up that rope. What got destroyed? Doesn't look like they got through anything. Actually, I want to be here. Did I just throw the rope in there? Yes, all right. So, what can I get rid of? For. Ooh, while I'm here, I can upgrade things. Oh, I need stones, which. Wait, no, I have that. Oh, that's right, I need the rods. Okay. So we look good here. I'm going to go back to the village, search what I can in the time I have left. I might only have about 20 minutes or so left to stream, unfortunately. So I'm going to squeeze as much as I can in this day. But I might not even make it to nightfall before I have to peel off, so we'll see.
players. What was that? Right, generator. While I'm here, I'm gonna throw more fuel in. I don't have any other use for it. All right. This place looks a lot better. Or worse. Key on a key ring. Roots entwine the cottage's interior all the way to the ceiling. Pardon me real quick, guys. Sorry about that. Back in. Painting from 1972, 3, 5, 8, and 9. A caption on the back of the painting reads, Flower, 07, 1972. 73. A caption on the back of the painting reads, Flower, 05, 1973. A caption on the back of the painting reads, Light, 
1975. Caption on the back of the painting reads, Flower, 06, 1978. And caption on the back of the painting reads, 04, 1979. It's like the quality of the paintings get worse gets worse and worse until it turns to mushrooms. Photo of a family. Spooky, 1970, and there's a date to pay attention for. Is that mushroom granny, I wonder? Rocking chair. Hmm. Okay. So this was a lore house. Got it. painting. It's missing a stone. Who are you? Cripple. Oh, God. Looking rough, buddy. Wait. Wait. Bloody hell, you're alive! The old man extends his hand, blindly trying to reach me. You're not from around here, eh? You cannot be, hmm? All them lads are dead. It's only me. Me and... He finally finds my arm and grabs it. For a moment, he clutches my hand in silence. Then I hear him mumbling something under his breath. I don't have anything, mate. Only this. This chair. Bloody hell. His gaze stops somewhere under the leaky barn ceiling. What? The old man suddenly jumps up. What are you saying? I feel his long fingernails digging into my hand. Ain't no fucking tree, that. Looks like a tree, but those faces. I know them, buggers. Every single one of them. So close, and so fake. They're not real. They're not. From time to time, I, I thank God I went blind. I don't have to look at them. The old man lets go of my hand and to lean against the broken back of the chair. He sighs with relief. It disgusts me. It fucking disgusts me, this buggery. This fucking scum. All this time, I had to listen to the, this its pathetic blabber. Complaining all the time, as if I was supposed to believe it's human. That it's Mizoka. Yeah, right. He suddenly reaches towards me with both hands, almost falling out of the chair. He grabs onto my sleeve. I feel his weight. I feel all his weight on me. You, lad. You've got your hands and legs, strong arms. I beg you, get rid of that filth from my village. I can't bear another day of that abomination wailing and sobbing. I want to die in peace, fucking hell. I want to die in peace. Listen to me. I thought about it for a long time. I've had a lot of time to think, for fuck's sakes. His eyes widen. His pupils are milky white. I can feel him climbing my coat. You need to find the basement. Jessic's basement. I remember it. It's right next to the tree. The tree is too large, so if you can't reach it from the top, you've got to try from the bottom. Find the basement. And there's 
And there, surely, you'll find the tree's roots. The bloody thing must have roots. That's where they are. Destroy them. Pull them. Drag them. Twist the fuck out of them. You find a way, eh? I know you will. The old man slides down my coat, straight into his destroyed wheelchair. For a moment, he searches for a stone, which he use, uses to prop himself up against the muddy floor of the barn. Thank you, thank you. Photo of a road. The old man grabs the photograph, feels it, then takes out a small glass object from his pocket and puts his eye to it. Or puts it to his eye. The road. The road home. What a load of bollocks. The road to madness is where it is, is what it is. Oh, I get it. He's uh, not sitting in a chair. That He's on a board. He's probably without legs. Photo of a family. The cripple pulls the photo close to his face. Poor woman. He points to the old woman in the photograph. She was left alone when her daughter lost it entirely and ran off into the woods with her kids. The old lady was devastated. I don't know what became of her. The lads would say that even with her legs not working properly, she crawled into the woods looking for her daughter. That was around the time when our fields were getting flooded. Even a healthy, strong lad would have a hell of a task getting through all the water, not to mention an, an old woman who could barely move. Still thinking that's the mushroom granny. And her daughter may even be the elephants. Theorizing. Years ago, when my eyes were good, people used to pass through here. They would leave their huts and go there, where the damn tree grows. They would often leave at night so that no one could see them. When they went into the deep, dark woods, they never came back. Some of them would say they're going home, but most of them were silent. I don't know. The land has changed. The trees have cut us off from the rest of the world. But home, for me, has always been here. Then, that monstrous, moaning abomination grew out of the ground. It blocked the passage, and that's that. No one has managed to pass through since then. Maybe people have found some other place. Maybe they died in the, at the swamps, just like us. No one lives around here anymore. Everyone is dead. Only sometimes. The man lowers his voice. Sometimes I hear footsteps. They wake me up at night. I heard footsteps earlier, too. There was no people. The sound of bare feet against the floor, and bells, sort of. They come out of nowhere. They move towards the trees, then come back. They pass me and fall silent. They're like nightmares, a bloody nightmare. What are you going on about again? The old man leans towards me, scowling. The wheelchair? The war took my, le took my legs. Then those wankers burned my house and me pigs. But it was years after the war. They said it was to fight the disease, so they said, and my Zoka. The disease took her from me, and all I have is this wheelchair and this land. It could be... It used to be different here. First, the woods changed. The trees started sprouting up everywhere. We were cut off. Then the water flutter, flooded our fields. People went crazy out of hunger. They fought over food. If you can come across some wheels, two little wheels, that I could fix my me chair, maybe you would benefit from it as well. Wheels. Interesting. I do not believe I found wheels yet. Okay. Fish. I haven't found fish yet. Before you leave, please see if you can do something about the tree. So he... Go to the basement. It's just next to the tree. So he wants me to kill the tree, huh? What could possibly go wrong? I ask in futility. Any year. Mine's 
72 through 79, let's go. to here. Not yet. Pliers and a sickle. Cool. can see the crown of a huge tree through the small window under the ceiling. Lottery tickets. Okay. Let's try 1174. tried and unfortunately I'm kind of hitting time right now so I'm gonna have to call the stream but maybe I'll probably be back tomorrow uh, tonight to pick up where I left off I still have I want to keep going further but don't have time so we'll pick this up later guys thank you so much as always for watching is anybody worth rating right now we're good. Nobody's really on. Alright guys. Have a great day. I'll see you later.